Lightroom or On One Photo Raw 2020? Which one is right for you? And here's the versus video coming up. Welcome to Free Will Photos, where we help beginner photographers learn how to use photo editing software and their gear to get the creative vision that they see in their head. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can always be updated with new content. One of the new things is I started a Patreon. So if you've been on the channel for a little while, please consider uh, joining the Patreon. The link to that is down below. It's $5 a month. It helps with generating content for this channel, getting new gear. If you find this content helpful, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button over there. And I have exclusive content specifically for all of my creatives that are gonna be there. Topic of today, Lightroom or On One Photo Raw, and here's the head-to-head -head mashup. Now, before we get into the differences, I'm gonna tell you the similarities because both of these programs are fantastic. Now, if you have the budget, I recommend you get On One Photo Raw, and then you pay the monthly subscription fee to Adobe Lightroom. So if you just wanted to know what I think, there you go. At the beginning of the video, I dropped it up front. Now, if you have a different comment or whatever, I want to know what you guys are thinking. All right. Put it in the comment section below. Let me know what you're thinking. Now, similarities. They both have photo management uh, opportunities. So keywording, uh, files, storage, things like that, file trees and, you know, looking up, importing, exporting. Just drop my phone. All right. This is my phone with all the notes on it. Uh, there are pretty much all the similarities that you would think in file management. They're going to have uh, preset options. So you can put presets in there. They're going to have local adjustments. They have uh, plug-in support. Uh, they have focus. Or I'm sorry, not focus stacking. They have HDR and panoramic. Uh, features as well, all right? I think that the HDR works a little bit better in On One Photo Raw uh, just because it doesn't do auto settings for you or do this generic blending, but yeah, all right? And that's gonna be in the differences. Uh, and yeah, those are pretty much all the major similarities. There's some other similarities, but I think that those are the major ones. They both have mobile apps, but there's going to be some differences in each one. So I'm going to go with the Lightroom differences first. The first one, uh, which I don't even really think is a big deal, but it's fa there's face detect. Uh, what that means is you take a picture of a person. It's going to be able to tell you what that person's face looks like. So every time you take a picture of an individual person, it'll always be able to categorize like these are the kid uh, pictures of whatever your kid's name is. I don't know. I'm not really that concerned about it because if you really want to tag a photo during the import, you just tag it with the person's name and then you can always filter the photo by those keywords. That's how I personally do it. And face detect, I don't know if that's really helpful. Next difference, and I think this is a big one, is there are more creatives using Lightroom than there are on one. The reason for that is Lightroom and Photoshop, those are made by Adobe. It's an industry leader in photography and creative work. So if that's something that you're interested in and you really wanna get into this, uh, you're gonna find more people using Lightroom, which means you're gonna be able to share presets. You're gonna be able to get more uh, mentorship. So someone's gonna be able to show you, hey, this is how I do this in Lightroom versus on one where the community is a little bit smaller but there's a great community that uses on one and the on one youtube channel they have a lot of stuff i'm not sponsored by either one of these uh companies i just like both products so i'm doing the versus video for them now that's kind of where the differences uh end with lightroom uh, because there's way more invested into on one because what you're going to find is a lot of the things inside of On One Capture Raw are gonna be things that you have to take an image over into Photoshop to do. And that's gonna be your layer editing. That's gonna be a lot of the blend mode options. Uh, that's gonna be uh, some of the effects that you're gonna see uh, that I'm gonna talk about. And then focus stacking. Um, and then some of the AI tools. There's some really good AI tools that are built into Photoshop, not so much in the Lightroom. 
uh, on one capture raw is more of a Lightroom Photoshop combination, whereas Lightroom is just a raw editor that has some features in it to help you bring out the most in your raw image. If all you're doing is editing an image, then that's great. Uh, but a lot of us, we want to get a little bit deeper contrast. We want to denoise a little bit better. You're going to get that out of Photoshop more than you will inside of Lightroom. Um, so, or you're going to use a plugin with Lightroom, which that's fine too, if that's what you want to do. So one of the cool things about the local adjustments with on one is it comes with masking. So you can make a, a local adjustment global first, and then you can mask it and paint it into the areas that you want to. But the cool thing about the mask uh, is you can do blend options with each one of those adjustments. So if you're dodging and burning, or if you just wanna do a color enhancement, uh, if you wanna add some clarity or some contrast, uh, I mean, there the the options are pretty much endless and you can change the blend option you can mask that very specific uh with you know that's kind of where the local adjustments come in um but you can do luminosity masking uh which is built into on one and it makes it super super easy for you to do you don't have to get any plugins uh, like you do with Photoshop or be a super genius on how to separate channels. Like you just hit lumen on the mask option and it opens up your luminosity mask and then you can just uh, play around with the faders to get it to lock in on the tonal values that you really want to affect. And then you go to town with doing your localized adjustments. It, it's just crazy how easy it is to get good results in on one photo raw versus going into Photoshop and having to be a little bit more uh, knowledgeable, all right? So again, if you're just starting out, I think on one photo raw is going to be a great place to start because you're gonna be able to get stuff done, uh, hopefully a little bit faster, but you know, the other thing that you have available to you is layers. Inside of on one photo raw, you can do composites fairly easy and you just throw in four or five images or two images, whatever it is, and they load as layers. And then you can just blend those in. Uh, you can transform them, you can crop them. You can do pretty much everything you would do with an image inside of Photoshop, inside of On One, and you're not leaving your photo editor. Uh, yes, this is non-destructive editing. So when you make an edit to an image, you can always reopen it. And On One does export these into PSD files. So if you migrate to Photoshop later, then you can open them up as PSD files, which are the Photoshop files and continue your working. I personally don't do this. I don't know how well they transition. Uh, so if you are doing that, leave a comment down below and let me know how your PSDs are transferring from on one into Photoshop. The other thing that is inside of uh, on one that is not in Lightroom if we're looking at photo raw editing is focus stacking. Um, if you are into product photography or tabletop photography, macro photography, I think that on one is gonna be a great source or great program for you because you're gonna be able to take 15 images. Uh, I believe that was the max that I was able to get focus stacked. You'll take 15 images and you can stack them together right there natively inside of on one you just select them all right click hit focus stack and it focus stacks your images into one composited image and then you can go to town and do all your edits there are a lot of filters inside of on one a lot of filters that allow you to creatively adjust your image uh, there's the basic ones like curves and color adjustments but then there's these LUTs that you can add to your images that give it a completely different tonal feel uh i think that these are great for landscapes you can even come up with a lot for a portrait so if you're shooting a lot of different like weddings or uh events and you have a stylistic approach to how your images are edited and delivered then the LUTs are going to be great for you now they both have mobile applications uh but here's where lightroom probably takes the cake 
Lightroom has a great photo editing mobile application that I don't think anyone has on the market in a way that Lightroom does. And if you pay the 10, now mind you, the Lightroom mobile app is free and you can upload images from your smartphone into it. Now, if you pay the $10 subscription, you can use the uh, Lightroom syncing uh, or cloud storage, whatever, where you take pictures with your DSLR or your mirrorless camera, you upload those to the cloud, and then those can download onto your phone. And that, my friends, is awesome. Now, you get localized adjustments with the Lightroom mobile application. Uh, I'll have to do a completely different video that talks just about the Lightroom mobile application, but they're updating that pretty much regular as well. So the features that you get with that is just amazing. The on one mobile app, you can check the description box up here or whatever the card <clears throat> and you will see my review on that. But the on one mobile app is very basic and does not deliver nearly as much uh, firepower as Lightroom does. Like, they probably shouldn't have released it, but at the time of this recording, the On One mobile app is one month old, all right? It's one month old. Now, there's a lot of room, you know, anything that comes out brand new usually isn't the greatest at the beginning, uh, and they left them, they left themselves a lot of room to grow. So both programs, another similarity, both programs have an, a cloud storage uh, where On One Mobile, uh, On One Mobile, On One 360, that's what they're calling it. On One 360 is a annual subscription. You pay for that and you can buy either one terabyte or I think the other one is 200 gigabytes, whatever uh, storage capacity you want to do. You can put original raw files onto this storage and you can sync it over multiple devices. Uh, on One 360 works great if you have a desktop computer and a laptop computer, both running full versions of On One Photo Raw 20. You can work pretty much seamlessly between the two. So if you travel with a laptop and that's how you primarily edit your photos, you're going to love the On One 360. Uh, because you're just going to be able to log in and have your your photos ready to go. Um, Lightroom does not have that available because what ends up happening with Lightroom is you'll have your main device, which is a desktop computer in most cases, and then you'll have your laptop. But in order to sync the photo over to the laptop, you will have to put it into an album and then you won't be able to connect Lightroom to that album because you'll have to sign out on the other computer and then you can only sync one catalog. It becomes a little confusing and challenging. So the way that you would have to work with Lightroom is with a, uh, a USB storage device that you travel with. And then you just plug that in, you make your edits, you use sidecard XMP files, and then when you plug that into another computer, you'll be able to see all of your edits because that X and that sidecar XMP saves all of your edits. And that's how you'll be able to transfer all your edits. Um, so kudos to on one for their 360 cloud service that works really well when you're using full versions of on one photo raw. I think I said it in the beginning. If I didn't, if you have the budget, I would go with both on one photo raw and Adobe Lightroom uh, because you do get a, between the two, you will have a flexible and really reliable photo editing suite. Now, if you can only afford one, I recommend you go with On One Photo Raw, uh, especially if you're just starting out and you don't wanna pay $120 a year because it's $10 a month. Uh, so, you know, if you don't wanna pay a monthly subscription fee, then on one is great. Now, if you buy on one, you already paid for it, and then you can later uh, upgrade and or migrate whatever you want to look at it as and move to Lightroom Mobile or Lightroom. Uh, pay the ten dollars a month, and you get a full subscription to Lightroom Mobile, 
uh, or I'm sorry, Lightroom. And then you also get a Lightroom Classic. Let me, let me clarify this. Lightroom Classic and Lightroom. That's all confusing. That's a whole nother video. All right, not going to go into that. Bottom line, $10 a month versus one-time fee of whatever it costs to get on one. They're always running deals, but I think it's like $80 to purchase on one uh, Photo Raw 2020. So there it is. Let me know in the comment section below what you are thinking. Uh, are you going to go with on one Photo Raw 2020 or are you going to go with Lightroom? In a few minutes or seconds or whatever, uh there should be another video it is getting hot in this car i'm getting really uncomfortable i haven't eaten breakfast so i'm gonna end it there you should see my latest video pop up somewhere around here and thank you for watching until next time stay inspired and keep creating peace